Hi, my name is AKA Fisher, and I hope you all enjoy my new song, Can't Feel At Home, featuring EJ Rook. The song was really inspired by just me living my life as a Christian in a world that so proudly and openly celebrates and promotes everything that is antichrist, everything that is wicked. And so it's kind of about just dealing with that feeling of just being out of place, of not being welcome in certain, you know, social settings and, uh, you know, how we as Christians kind of have to wrestle with that in life. To hear more, please go to tentmakermusic.com. My album, In the Ruins of Dreamland, should be done soon, and I hope that you'll go check it out when it is done. God bless you. Let's go get problems. Let's go get 520 Collective, where music meets ministry, and the indie artist takes center stage. Take a ride through my old town, old me, old Sean. Might need boats, cry oceans. Here, float down my old child. Feel so broke, no hope round here. Been trying to cope since like old one. Better slow down for your coastline. You might owe Sean. What's up, and welcome to the 520 Collective Podcast, where music meets ministry and the indie artist takes center stage. We are in the field on the Track Stars Podcasting Network. It's Eric Boston. It's also Nate Shelton, and we're here rocking with you for the month of March. Uh, Nate, what's going on, man? Uh, you know what? It's I can't believe we're already getting close to spring already. Uh, the year, 2020 is already starting to fly by fast, but uh, music is just coming in. Fast and furious, everybody doing their thing out there. It's been a fun two months already. I'm really looking forward to this episode of the podcast. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, man, uh, you're right. There's been a lot of new music and uh, a couple of specific ones that we want to talk about, Nate. Right, yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, this episode actually is sponsored by the new song, Underrated, by Greg Hartley. Uh, after nearly a year off, Hartley's back with a song about constantly maneuvering through your career, even when times are tough. Hartley also knows that you can trust God through struggles and hard times. Underrated also features Caleb Tucker. He's available on all digital media platforms. Uh, He's got more singles and an EP on the way this year. Make sure you follow Greg Hartley on all his social media right, and keep up with what he's doing. For sure, for sure. And we're also being sponsored this month by Joseph and his new single, Myself. Uh, Joseph is a Liberty University product, and he started making noise in the Lynchburg, Virginia area. His highly anticipated single, Myself, is out now and streaming everywhere. It is a song dedicated to the times when Joseph was dealing with rejection and depression, when he didn't understand why people saw him as less, and when he needed to prove himself to people who had already decided to on how they were going to treat him. Um, guys, it's a solid song. Make sure you go out and support the single Myself by Joseph now on your favorite streaming platform. And man, if you are looking for some of the newest uh, independent Christian hip-hop, you know one place that you can find that each and every week is at www.520collective.com where we have new music posting nearly every Friday and every Tuesday, Nate. Uh, man, you, like you said, the... The um, drops are coming fast and furious here in 2020. There has been no slowing down within the indie CHH scene. And we're just getting submission after submission, trying our best to support everybody. So make sure you all hit up the website, 520collective.com. Check out the newest music. Check out our interviews. Check out our reviews. All the great content going up there. And while you're on the website, scroll down the page, left-hand side of that homepage, there's a spot where you can actually Follow what's happening right there on the website. Drop your email in the box and get our newest content delivered right to your email inbox. Nate, um, man, I tell you what, one thing that's been really awesome that we've been talking about is the way that social media, um, I mean, while it's not the end all be all, you know, in our opinion, it, it's still just crazy to see how it has been growing. You know, we definitely love, you know, the the followers that we've been getting and love you know being able to interact with people and we would just really appreciate it if you did follow us across social media guys um nate can you tell the people where they can find us on what platforms and and where they need to hit us up you can follow us on twitter instagram and facebook real easy 
at 520CHH, every platform, that's where you find us at. Uh, we're, like you said, we're growing fast, getting all kinds of uh, followers on there, which again, like you uh, follow up what you said, not the end all be all, but along with that, new artists are we're discovering while they're following us. So it's just been really exciting seeing who's out there. And does, every week seems like we just uh, new artists is finding us, wanting us to wanting to work with us. So it's been really fun the last couple months. Yeah, man. So so make sure you jump on those uh, accounts again: Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of them at five twenty c h h. That's five twenty spelled out. And you know, check it out. Our our dude Jeremy, who who runs um, our Instagram, Facebook, does an amazing job. Shout out to him. Uh, you know, he's gonna be sharing. You know, the latest. You know, everything that he can catch. You know, basically. I mean, there's so much going on, Nate. But he does he, a real real good job of keeping up with it i know uh, if he's like me you probably feel like you're missing something once in a while but he does he's really good at keeping up with what's going on out there so definitely follow jeremy on uh see what jeremy's doing on instagram for us yeah definitely definitely if you want to be in the know on what is going on on uh as far as indie chh hit up the accounts at 520 chh uh i mean i'd love if you guys would follow me you know Drop me a line. Let me know what's going on. Let, let me know how we can support you as a platform, how I can support you as an individual. Uh, the best place to do that is on Twitter at Eric Boston and the number three. That is at Eric Boston and number three. And Nate, I know that you are kind of like me and you reside on Twitter a lot. Uh, where can they hit you up? You can find me at I am underscore Nate dog. That's at I am underscore Nate dog. Uh, follow me on my Twitter there. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff going on. I'm just keeping track of what's uh, happening this year in CHH. And I don't know about you, but I feel like everybody this year has stepped up their game talent-wise. Um, just top to bottom, the music seems to be on another level this year. Definitely. And if you are one of those artists that's dropping music, or if you're just a fan who wants to support, one thing I'm going to need you to do, head over to radio.520collective.com. And make sure you submit your music to get into rotation. It's 520 Radio, hosted by DJ Barcode. It is your new home for independent Christian hip-hop. We got 24-7 streaming. Uh, you can find it on the site. Once again, radio.520collective.com. Or you can even download the His Hop Radio app and catch our live 24-7 stream there. We've got... You know, music, obviously, but we also have a lot of great shows and, and barcode is adding more, Nate. You know, uh, shout out to, I know we've got some new shows getting ready to drop, uh, Gospel Lift with Alyssa Johnson and we got, um, the Meech Real podcast that's joining our, um, rotation as well. So a lot of good stuff that is happening there. If you're, you know, in your commute, if you are, you know, at work and you're in one of those places where you can throw some headphones on and, and go about your business, why not tune into 520 Radio with our guy DJ Barcode for the latest in Christian hip hop content, Nate. Yeah, he is doing his thing over there. It's growing pretty fast. Uh working on lots of new content for it, so definitely keep up with what uh Barcode's doing over there. Some great stuff on the radio side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Nate, I know that uh, you and I and the rest of the guys, we, um, you know, one thing that we do on a daily basis is we read devotionals together um, and that we have some really good discussions. We have a lot of stuff that, you know, we're thinking about, that, that we're looking in the mirror and we are, you know, just really examining ourselves, holding each other accountable. Um, and, man, it feels like there's been so much just in this past month since our last podcast that we've uh, you know, read and, and kind of discussed, like, I want to know, like, what's something that has stood out to you, you know, when we're going through these discussions, when we're going through these devotionals, uh, you know, what, what's, you know, what really hit home for you this month? Like, what, what can we chat about? This month, you know, really, we've been going through these devotionals. It's been really great stuff growing from all of it. Uh, one thing that really hit me though, uh, was when we talked, we was doing some talk about pride and how that affects us and being folk keep our talent and you know not make it all about us and making god the center of everything we do and i thought really 
in this industry especially pride can be a big stumbling block sometimes especially the hip-hop culture i mean that's kind of how the whole culture is built around is how good you are you know you, you do the site artists doing ciphers trying to see who's got the better verses just but as a christian how do you balance that in your life and your music throughout your career yeah man i mean you know i think um let's see what was it our guy mitch Durrell that brought this up about the braggadocious um side of hip-hop i believe on twitter not too long ago um and and you're right man i mean that's just you know it, it's kind of one of those character traits of the genre right um that's where we're at and i think you know there's always this conversation about okay can we as christians brag about ourselves right i mean or or do we have to change up how we approach the music and i think it's nay it's a complicated situation i think um you know if we're looking at it from a scripture viewpoint the the obvious verse that stands out is, is when Paul is talking about if I'm going to brag, I'm going to brag in the cross of Christ, right? Um, and and a lot of times we talk about that and we leave it there. I was doing some, some digging into this, Nate, and I don't know if we realize how much Paul really talks about um, about bragging or, or in his words being boastful right if, he, if i boast i boast in christ right um there is in second corinthians 11 um starting in verse 16 and i'm not going to read all of it. i'm going to skip around a little bit here nate but paul is talking about his sufferings as an apostle and i just want to point out how much he is talking about boasting and really look at what he's saying here, Nate. Um, so to start off in verse 16, he says, I repeat, let no one think me foolish, but even if you do, accept me as a fool so that I too may boast a little. What I am saying with this boastful confidence, I say not as the Lord, but as a fool. Since my boast according to the flesh, I will too boast. But for you gladly bear with fools, being wise yourselves, for you bear it if someone makes slaves for you, or devours you, or takes advantage of you, or puts on airs, or strikes you in the face. To my shame, I must say, we too were weak for that. But whatever anyone else dares to boast of, I am speaking as a fool, I also dare to boast of that. And if we skip down just a little bit further um, here, Nate, it... uh goes into Paul saying, if I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. The God and Father of the Lord Jesus, he is who is blessed forever, knows that I am not lying. So here it is, you know, it's not just a verse that we all kind of know about. If I'm going to boast, let me boast in Jesus. Paul really talks about, you know, this feeling of needing to boast, to, to brag, right? And what does he say? Nate? He says, um, man, you guys, you know, you, you boast in your flesh. So I guess if I'm going to do it, let me do it as well. But I want you to understand that as I boast in this way, consider me a fool because this is foolish. Um, I don't know. I don't know where you're going to take this or, or where we as a culture should take it, but I feel like it is an area that we need to be very careful with, even though it is, you know, I'm not even going to argue it. It's a part of hip hop culture, right? What, what do you think? What do you, what do you make of what uh, Paul's saying there? What he's saying is like, I, if, and in that context, um, these people in Corinthians are, you know, what has Paul done? You know, we've got these other leaders that have done all these things. What have you done to show yourself worthy of following you? And like you said, Paul's like, well, you know, if we're going to go there, basically, let me show you what what God has brought me through. And yeah, it's probably going to sound foolish, but since you're asking, let me tell you. So he goes and lists all these things, the shipwrecks, the beatings, the prison, the imprisonment, all this stuff. 
and saying, you know, like I, I want to, it's probably sound a little silly, but the culture these days would say, Paul pulled out all the receipts and said, here, here's where God has brought me from. You want to follow these other people? Well, this is what he's done for me. So at times, you know, like you said, boasting is necessary to show people how good our God is. Yeah, I think, I think, you know, when we get to those places where we're like, okay, I'm about to say something here. We need to pause and really think about why are we saying it? Um, you know, am I boasting in the correct way? Am I boasting in Christ? Because that is where any sense of pride should be coming from. Right. And I get that, you know, what he is saying is that, Hey, you know, a lot of times when we are doing this bragging, it's because we've come through these not, these less than ideal situations. Right. Um, and, and there's a lot of people that, that connect with that, you know, within hip hop and that's fine. You know, that, that's a, you know, kind of just something that's accepted. However, when, as soon as you put that C in front of hip hop and you, and you put that Christian, uh, label there, I think, you know, you're, you have a higher expectation that, not only other people hold you to, but that we should be holding ourselves to. And so, yeah, have your, have your braggadocious lines. I get, you know, your braggadocious bars, uh, like Mitch was saying, but I mean, really, I think, I think it's vital that you check your heart and that you're making sure that's coming from the right place because that's the kind of stuff that can lead to a slippery slope pretty quick, Nate. Right. It's just a matter of where your mindset is when you're in that, when you're creating this music is, are you making it all centered on you or are you making it centered on, uh, Christ and your faith? Just a matter of keeping the right perspective as you're doing it. Definitely nothing wrong. As Paul said, nothing wrong with boasting just, or being bra- braggadocious it's just about how you approach it. Yeah, man. I think what you said right there about um, where you're choosing to come from in, in those situations, I think that leads perfectly into this month's featured song, Nate. Um, man, you know, this song dropped the day before our last podcast. It dropped on Valentine's Day as part of that group of releases, and Maybe some people didn't catch it. I hope they did. I know we were promoting it on the platform. You know, it was uh, the Jay Dunn uh, was actually one of our sponsors last month. Uh, you know, kind of you know promoting the, the, this track. But you know, when we heard it, we were like, "Man, I think this would be a good song to feature on the podcast." So we've got it this month, Nate. Um, I, I want to hear it because I think the theme of it plays well with this discussion that we're having nate do you agree with that i I definitely agree with that sweet so what do you say we we jump into it nate the the name of the song is i choose you it's jay dunn it's rapture ray productions it features their newest artist marcus selders um yeah man I, i i think it's a good time to play it what do you say let's jump into it all right guys so check it out i choose you jay dunn and uh, featuring Marcus Selders, and we will discuss it on the back end. Yeah, uh, no confetti here. When I hit the top nine, 
there's another ten. When I conquer one problem, there's another near. Gotta bring you in close so I can see you clear. Yeah. You got the kind of love that'll run deep. Your love it overflows and surrounds me now. And that's Lord, I'm lost and I'm drowning. So you're the only king that I'm crowning. I'm crowning. That I'm crowning. I'm crowning. I'm announcing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm vowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I change it. Seeking God first. Ain't no point of later. Searching all over. There's none greater. There's no favor. Like the Lord does. It's that Mary J. Talking that real love. He gave real blood. Yeah, that's that real cuz. You ain't gotta choose. He did it just because. He don't hold a grudge like no man do. Because before you fall, he's forgiven you. I suppose I ain't supposed to unfold. That I know that your soul should be anchored in the Lord. I propose. That's my goal. That's my flow. Be the realest. Not a show. Give them more of the truth than they had once before. Yeah. Uh. I'm already gone, waiting on my Lord to come like he was never like here. Never but here. until he comes back, you're my vision clear. Yeah. Just get the world rush ready, cause I know he near. Yeah. You got the kind of love that'll run deep. Run deep. Your love it overflows and surrounds me. Surround and that's Lord, I'm lost and I'm drowning. So you're the only king that I'm crowning. 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 It's, it's, it's time for the 520 Podcast Song Breakdown, sponsored by Show Me Christ Records. All right, shout out to our guys at Show Me Christ uh, Music in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, they are holding it down. You know, we got their artist Jude and his newest single, Tears, is out now. You can check that out and along, along with... All the great content that Show Me Christ is putting out, including their playlist, guys. Make sure you get on to showmechristrecords.com and submit your music for their playlist. It's growing. It's uh, you know really putting some artists on, so it's definitely one you want to be submitting to. Uh, so make sure you hit it up. Like I said, showmechristrecords.com. And again, that featured song this month was I Choose You by Jay Dunn of Rapture Ready Productions featuring Marcus Selders. Nate, Jay Dunn, he is the big homie. He is the head of Rapture Ready uh, down there in Louisiana, uh, you know, doing a lot of work. They've put out a lot of content already in 2020. I want to know, man, how, how are you feeling the newest single by Jay Dunn, I Choose You? You know, I really did enjoy this track. Uh, you got that old trap sound to it. Definitely took me back to the early 2000s. You can hear the Louisiana influences in that music. Definitely, uh, you can tell he's really honed in his craft with this music. And he's uh, really all around a very solid song, top to bottom. Yeah, man. I thought, um, like, like you said, Jay Dunn's been doing this for a while. He knows what his lane is. He is, uh, and, he's, and he's putting out content that fits in it perfectly. Um, I get what you're saying on, you know, it does have a little bit of a throwback feel, but I also think it's got, it, it, that it's done in a way that fits well with today's music as well. Like, here's the thing I thought, Nate, as soon as I heard it, one, the production was super nice, and overall, just the engineering, the, the whole, you know, that final product was done very, very well, man. It sounded like a complete ready to go, here you go, radio, put this in your rotation and, and let it play type of thing um but then the other aspect that i thought was interesting with uh marcus selders on the hook and doing the the um the singing on there i think it has this element that like i could see it being played on maybe a, a ccm station you know like it's got enough of that crossover appeal um that i think you're gonna have audiences outside of just hip-hop that's willing to you know, give it their time. What, what do you think, Nate? Yeah, I think it could definitely have some crossover appeal. Um, it, Selders did a really great job on that hook. Uh, the vocals were great. Love to see the future that he has with Rapture Ready that as their newest artist there. So 
overall, like you said, he's got that production honed in tightly. Uh, just knows exactly what he's doing, and the quality of the music was was overall very well done. For sure, for sure. And I agree with you, man. I'm excited to see what uh, is going to come from Marcus Sellers this year. I know they've got some stuff in the works already because uh, you don't bring him on and show him off as a new artist without something uh, being cooking, you know, in the lab with, with him. So, Nate, I mean, the big question is, I mean, I think we're, we're just where we are. And, you know, we always talk about it is, you know, people want to get on playlists and we happen to have a couple of them and you kind of curate. So is this a playlist song? Does this make the sauce? I definitely think this is play wor- playlist worthy. Uh, very, um, just very well uh, crafted song. I could definitely see this on numerous playlists, not just ours. Uh, it's definitely a song that you need to go listen to. Uh, I Choose You by James Dunn. Yeah, man. Jay Dunn doing his thing. Rapture Ray Productions. Check them out. They have um, their label compilation album that came out right at the beginning of the year new mecca you've got the new music from jay dunn a lot of cool stuff i know they've got some things in the work that they haven't quite announced but it's coming i'm excited to hear what they're saying so make sure you guys are checking out what they're doing check out the sauce playlist on spotify make sure you follow it because i choose you is going to be on there along with the latest and greatest in christian hip-hop man nate i'm gonna be honest with you man i was excited about this month's interview we had Ryan Moore, the COO of Trackstars slash J Dot, that joined me on uh, on the Trackstars podcasting network phone line. Chopped it up for a little bit. Uh, it was a good conversation, man. I want to jump into it. What do you think? I'm excited to hear it. Hear what he says. And I'm. I know he's got all kinds of wisdom to drop. He's all his experience out there. For sure. For sure. So, guys. Uh, stick around here on the back side of this uh, little break for segment two. It's going to be our insider interview with Ryan Moore of Track Stars. We'll see you next month. Hey guys, what's up? This is Eric with 520 Collective in the 520 Collective podcast. I want to talk to you about Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way possible to make a podcast. Let me break it down for you. One, it's free. That's right. No cost to use Anchor. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you. So if you want to get on platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and many, many more, then it's really, really easy, guys. You just set up an Anchor account at anchor.fm. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Again, make money no minimum listeners you're not gonna find that anywhere else it's everything you need to make a podcast and it's all in one place so go right now and download the free anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started and make sure you let them know you heard it on 520 collective podcast Welcome to this month's Industry Insider Interview, brought to you officially by the Bookkeeper247.com. All right, guys, we want to give a big shout out to the Bookkeeper247. As always, our official Industry Insider Interview sponsor. Joining me on the Track Stars Podcasting Network phone line right now, guys, he is the man that might solely be responsible for all of this. I don't know. We'll ask him for sure. Um, you may know him as Red Snapper. You may know him as Ryan Righteous, but we call him Ryan Moore around these parts. So it's uh, the one and only Ryan Moore from Track Stars right here with us right now. What's good, sir? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me on the call. Oh, man, we're loving it. You know, um, it's crazy that it took into uh, season two of the 520 podcast to get you on here. But, um, you know, I, I know this is one I have been waiting for. Oh, cool! You know, hey, I think everything has its has its appointed time, so no worries there. Definitely, definitely, and I know, um, man, stuff is popping over at Track Stars. Man, you guys are in what your thirteenth year now. Um, what, what's been going on, man? What, what's what's happening in your world? Man, there's a lot going on. There's uh, there's been a lot of uh, advancement um, since last year. 
um, after we won the group Stellar Award with Guys House of Hip Hop and GH Street Radio, things have taken off in a direction that we were not really sure God was ready to do um, because we weren't sure that we were ready to accept it, but definitely proud and, and happy of where God has uh, taken us in the last year. We've gotten television placement and we've gotten more radio station placement. And we have charted on iTunes a couple of times now, which is big for us because we've spent nearly 10 years trying to chart on iTunes in the um, podcasting world of, you know, music and commentary. So that's been a blessing. But other than that, you know, the brand is continuing to grow. Um, I should point out that the parent company of Trackstars is actually called JDOT. A lot of people don't know that, but JDOT has three brands underneath it. It has Trackstars, Nectar, and Render. So we'll stay ahead with all three brands and good things are happening this year and are expected this year from all three of the brands. Yeah, man, we definitely want to jump into talking about uh, those brands because I know there's a lot of good stuff there that, you know, independent artists within the CHH space can take advantage of that you guys offer. So we, we definitely want to talk about those. Um, but before we do... So we had, you know, Sean on the podcast a couple of episodes ago, and he kind of broke down just kind yeah, of, um, yeah, yeah, man, good, good stuff. You know, always good to talk to Sean, and you know, he he kind of broke down, you know, kind of his role in um in Track Stars, you know, kind of from the beginning and stuff. So I, w- I want to hear your story, man. Like, t- lay it out there for people. You know, I, I, what is Ryan? What what is what is his role? Like, what does that look like in Track Stars? You know, from from my, I guess the beginning, wherever you want to start from. Man, okay, yeah. Affectionately, man, I'm known as the go-to guy, right? So pretty much anything track stars, you can come to me about it. If, if you have a question about what the brand is doing, if you have a question about wanting to partner with us, if you have a question about getting on to the show or any ideas that you have about, you know, working with us or partnering with us, I'm the go-to guy. Uh, I am a relationship builder. I love building relationships. I try to communicate with everybody on a personal level, um, which is really a testament to how you and I began our friendship because, you know, I wanted to communicate with you on a personal level. And um, reaching out has always been something that's very important to me. I find that people have more respect and people have more, uh, people find more value in what you offer. If you reach out to them and give them personal notes and just let them know, hey, I'm thinking about you and I want to build with you. I'm watching your career path. Um, when I started the Independent Artist Spotlight a few years ago, um, it was like, hey, I, I want to see great things happen for your career. I want to be able to give you the same kind of platform that Lecrae and the Andy Minios of the world have. And I want to be able to, you know, bless you from no one not knowing who you are to someone knowing exactly who you are. So. That was really the, the, the gist of it all is that I wanted to insert myself in every area that I could be a blessing that God could use me. I'm a very talkative person, very outgoing person. Um, I'm extremely, extremely um, extroverted. So I'm always out there trying to make myself known in spaces that, that require our attention and as well as, you know, meeting people who, who need our services. Yeah, that's what's up, man. And, and no doubt, you know, big shout out to you. Um you know, I was just at a spot where I was like, man, I, I need to do something. And, and I, you know, shot my shot, if you will, on, on Twitter and was like, hey, you know, let, let's see what happened. And you reach back out, man, you know, and, and it's crazy. And all that has, you know, kind of led to us being right here, man. Um, you know, I give you guys credit and, and you specifically for um, just just helping 520, you know, get off the ground and, 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 and you know, the wisdom that you share with this man so yeah guys if you are looking to um do anything you know and it's not just uh with christian hip-hop man like your your knowledge goes far beyond that so if you guys are looking to do something in specifically in this space though this is a man you want to reach out to right here um again it's ryan moore track stars podcasting network phone line so yeah man no doubt no doubt um so a lot of big changes have been going on um, as you said, with track stars, and I know one of those um, that directly impacts independent artists is Nectar. Talk to us about that. Yeah. Wow. So Nectar is our distribution platform um, where we offer an opportunity for artists to get their music out there digitally to 
over 200 digital outlets. Um, so we are um, competitors of DistroKid, CD Baby, TuneCore, and we have come up with a way that makes Nectar unique. Nectar is unique because you can't go to DistroKid, TuneCore, CD Baby, and also get your promotion done on radio, television, and film, right? So with TrackStar, we can give you that full scope of how you can help launch your music, but also promote your music. And so that's one of the things that Nectar does for those artists. We call them uh, Nectar Elite Artists. And Nectar Elite Artists, they are in a membership club where they can pay a certain amount of money each month to have unlimited advertisement of their uh, brand. So it's a great way to build if your artist is serious about your craft. And I'll say that Nectar has um, gone through its, uh, its hiccups and things of that nature. Um, we have single-handedly um, manage this site on our own and we do everything manually and so Nectar is getting ready to get an overhaul where we just signed a contract it's barely dry and we're going to be doing everything automated we have a business to business uh, platform that we're going to be rolling out soon uh, it's going to have so many great things for artists in there they were, they're going to look like wow I didn't know I could get all this in one place and so uh, we've got the uh, latest tool that we added about maybe a year ago, which is the royalty management tool. And we just found a new royalty management tool, which is even better. Um, it gives you your stats. It gives you your uh, distribution uh, and delivery area. So this is going to be really big for Nectar artists. Uh, we want everybody joining Nectar. If you're Christian hip-hop, if you're contemporary Christian, if you're Christian rock, if you're gospel, we want everybody to feel like they have an outlet to distribute their music in a place where believers are helping other believers. So Nectar is doing some really phenomenal things. Uh, I'm super excited about it and proud of it in its early stages. You know, we had the, the challenges and we lost artists and we gained artists back that we lost because of the new ideas and the things that we've rolled out constantly over the years. But Nectar is only about three to four years old now. So it's our, it's our, um, our second baby. And uh, it's it's on its, it's on its way. It's, you know, starts off as an infant and it grows its toddler legs, and now it's getting ready to, you know, form into its um, its uh, childhood. Now I would say so. We're we're getting ready to go through that adolescent phase. Awesome, awesome. And guys, if you're not rocking with Nectar, um, I will say just from firsthand experience, it, it's worth it, especially uh, within christian hip-hop i mean you got you're talking about track stars you know one of the top brands in this space and um you know if you guys checked out our song uh lion's den that 520 dropped that was put out through nectar and and no complaints on this end at all man it worked like it was supposed to so um so you talked about oh, good 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 yeah so you talked about nectar elite and how um the people that are part of that program not only do they get their distribution but they can get um promotion can you talk about the promotion aspect just a little bit more like what can a nectar elite artist you know expect out of that account mm -hmm. sure so nectar elite is a hundred dollars a month and we have different levels that's for an independent artist if you are a label we have different tiers for you as well but if you're an independent artist hundred dollars a month gets you unlimited advertising through the nectar uh uh, through, through Trackstar's platform, actually. So that's all our social media sites, our website. We have uh, trackstars.com. We have leaks.trackstars.com, which is a full promotion page where we put up artist music and, and there are no articles there. It's just nothing but music and music videos. And so we have that site developed. And then we have uh, the social media, like the Instagram, the Twitter, the Facebook, the um, Facebook page. Uh, all those different platforms you can actually promote on as well. And so it, it gives an artist an opportunity to say, hey, I want to promote in different spaces. Um, and how do I do that? Right. And so you get the opportunity to hit all of the different targets. We're on radio. We're on television. Uh, track stars just got into film. So you never know if you want placement for your songs or, or something like that. Track stars can help you there. We have an opportunity um, for you to do publishing now through NASDAQ Publishing, which is a partner of ours. And if you're talking, if you're thinking about what publishing is or asking the question, what is publishing? That's when you go out and you get your song placement, um, on NBA or, or ESPN or, um, a movie like, uh, Fast and the Furious. Uh, I just kind of named some of the ones that we tried out for. We tried out for 
Fast and the Furious. Uh, we tried out for a couple of different TV shows, um, the CIS LA, uh, CIS Los Angeles and Miami and all those different places. They're all looking for songs. And so I know that we have one partner who has uh, done really well in that space. And that partner got over 42 placements last year. Now that wasn't through us, but that was through uh, their company, which is similar to NASDAQ. And they just kind of show you on a level of commitment what it looks like when you really commit to it. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. That is what's up. So really that elite is if you are ready to take that music career and take it up to the next level, take it up that next step, you need to be looking at that. Um, now, what if I'm brand new? Um, you know, I, I don't have that hundred bucks a month, but I'm trying to figure out, okay, how do I get my music out there? And there's all these options, including Nectar. What, what does Nectar offer me as, as, you know, a brand new artist that, you know, is going to lead me to say, okay, this is definitely where I want to distribute my music compared to maybe some of the other options that are out there. Well, here's the great thing, right? When you say I'm a brand new artist, you can literally start from the basics with track stars and Nectar. So we can do mixing and mastering of your project. We can also um, do the aggregation, which is to put it out there and all the different outlets. So we can say, literally, we could take an artist from start all the way to the beginning of their career, and we can help them develop into other into larger platforms. So for instance, we've had Nectar artists that we promoted get signed to major labels. You know, so they are actually going on and just saying, hey, I'm not just staying on Nectar. I'm not just kind of hanging out with track stars. I'm actually going beyond um, what my my ability was to begin with. Right. So that's the whole goal of this is to really make artists feel comfortable to where they can launch out beyond what we're doing and go out to these major labels, go out to these um, these Columbia's and these, uh, you know, uh, capital music and talk to them about, you know, advancing their careers. And so Nectar's had a really strategic way of being able to work with artists of all levels. I, I'll tell you what the secret was. The secret was we used to follow behind all the big guys. We used to chase behind Bizzle, Lecrae, Andy, Tadashi, Tripp, um, you name it, D1, um, Derek Minor. We were just chasing these guys, and we were writing articles about them, right? And we were saying, all oh, these guys are great. You need to go listen to them and listen to them. And, you know, we were, we weren't looking for these things to happen. But they weren't retweeting our stuff, right? People were just kind of coming to our site just to read about them. But there was no development happening from our end. So we decided to focus on the independent artists. We decided to start looking at those artists that send in their music submissions, those artists that send in, um, um, you know, that send us in fan mail and tell us how much they like the show and what they want to do with their careers. And so we started focusing on them. And we realized that those are the that was the audience that we really needed to hone in on because those kids are growing up, you know. Um, I spoke to Juan Day not too long ago, and Juan Day was like, when I was 14, I used to watch track stars. And that made me feel some kind of way, you know, seeing her career now that she's on Reach Records and knowing that she was looking at, you know, watching our show when she was 14. Um, but I'm proud of her, and I'm happy for her. And so we've had other artists that have come to us the same way and said, hey, man, I've been listening to you guys for so long. We had Jerry Manor in the building, and he was like, hey, you guys are the legends, man. I've been watching you all, and I can go back in the Rolodex, man, and I can tell you that Jerry Manor's been sending in music since 2014, 2015. Um, there's people that I've done the Independent Artist Spotlight with that are now on labels. You know, there's people that I've done the Independent Artist Spotlight with that have gone on to uh, work with some really great artists and do some really great um, features for some big names. So there's a lot of development, but the main thing about it is exposure. Um, I like to talk about repetition because I used to be in radio sales. I used to work for uh, one of the uh, mainstream radio stations in the, in the city of Atlanta for hip hop. And the biggest thing was you can't just buy advertising one time. You can't just buy it and say, okay, I'm going to run this 60 second ad hope that somebody hears it and that they do something about it. Most people don't get excited, don't get engaged until they've heard it 12 to 15 times. So you've got to be repet you've got to be building repetition out there as an artist. You've got to run your social media. You've got to make sure that you are on your way to, you know, um, uh, booking shows and finding management and finding all these great opportunities. You've got to make sure you're doing all those things. Um, case in point, MC Nice. He's a good friend of mine. He's put it on the 2020 Fest over in um, in Los Angeles this year. And uh, I call him Big Bro. I wouldn't even call him um, just a, a good friend of mine. I call him Big Bro because he's given me so much wisdom, so many tools. You've had him on this show before, too. 
So you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and so my thing is, MC Nice is, is a is a tool and a, and a resource. People don't necessarily re- give him credit for you know um, producing Tupac and producing Nas. And so when you're talking about a full circle of your career, MC Nice is saying for Summerfest, for 2020 Fest, he picked everybody who was blasting social media, who was booming, who was popping, who was hitting up the shows, getting booked, right? Like you're, he, he looked at social media. He picked, he handpicked these 65 artists. Most people don't know that. He handpicked them himself. Like he was going through him and his committee. And it wasn't about who was the most popular. It wasn't about who was selling the most. It was about who's doing the most. Who is looking to impact this culture that we're a part of? And so when an artist thinks about coming to track stars or they come to Nectar, know that we're going to give them every tool they need. We even do development plans for artists. We do consultation plans for artists. We even have a way of listening to your music and giving you feedback on it. We can have our, our website team, our writing team, write an album review or a single review for you. So there's nothing that you can't get when you come to Track Stars. We want it to be the full cycle um, uh, life generator for the Christian hip hop music. So we were trying to get our hands into every aspect and figure out because I don't know, a lot of people know this, but most of us were artists ourselves, you know? And so I'm the only one that's not really an artist, even though I'm starting to get into rapping a little bit. But um, we were frustrated because we ran into all these roadblocks. We had all these hiccups. And so we decided that we were going to find a way to get around them. And Santana, God bless him. He's a genius. He's our CEO. And, and all respect goes to him for building the brand and the visuals that you see before track stars and the sound quality, all of that goes to him. But he is a good guy that can figure out anything he puts his mind to. And when he has a challenge, please believe he's going to figure it out. So if you're having that same challenge, come to us, come to Sean. We will help you figure that out. Definitely, definitely. And I know one thing that I always try to point out to people whenever I'm talking to an artist about Nectar and and why it might be, you know, the choice they need to make over these other options is that the one thing Nectar offers that, you know, other distribution companies do not is that Christian aspect as well. So you've got a team in your corner that has the same goals, the same uh, belief system as you as the artist. Yeah, and, and I'm glad you pointed that out because you just jogged my memory on something that I definitely need to say. We also have direct deals with Spotify, um, Pandora, um, iTunes, Deezer. Um, and, and so those those direct deals and what they actually mean is that those are the people that are contacting us and looking for artists. You know, Spotify contacted us to curate a playlist, right? Um, Spotify hit us up and said, hey, we're doing a, a showcase at the South by Southwest and we're going to all the aggregators and we're asking you to submit your top 20, top 20 artists on your platform. And so artists are actually getting placement to go to South by Southwest where they were the last person that DistroKid was going to reach out to. They may have been the last person that TuneCore ever thought of. They may have been the last person that CD Baby ever might have mentioned. But because you're on Nectar, because you're with us, because we have those direct deals just like they do, we're putting you on that scene, right? And so, kind of give you an example. When we did that, um, Surf Game was picked up to go to South by Southwest. Um, when, when promoters call us and say, hey, we're coming to Atlanta, do you guys have any Atlanta Nectar artists that you can submit to us? Yeah, so that's cool. So we get um, we get Loso on a show. We get all these different folks who, who were on Nectar at one time on these different shows. And so it's a great opportunity just to be in the scene, you know? I mean, another great thing you might get from Track Stars that you're not going to get or from Nectar that you're not going to get from anybody else is we're going to call you. You're going to send us an email, and one of us is going to respond to your email. One of the Track Stars always responds to an email. It doesn't go to a generated system. It doesn't go to a member of our staff that we push it off to. One of the track stars, Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah, is going to respond to your email. And that's huge because now you're talking to the CEO, the vice president, and um, the vice president of uh, programming and content. So the people who are making this happen, the people that are in charge of this, 
are the ones you're going to communicate with. And that's huge. You can't say that about CD Baby TuneCore or uh, DistroKid. They're not calling you back. They're not answering your emails one-on-one. Definitely, definitely. And, guys, if you're just now listening, we are on the Track Stars Podcast Network phone line with Ryan Moore from Track Stars. Um, he is announcing his new album this year, right? Is that what we're talking about? We're going to get music oh, from Ryan I'm Moore? Not- uh, I mean, I'm, j- I'm, I'm just trying to I'm get not- a scoop, man. That's all I'm trying to do. See, seeing what I can get out of Honestly, you. Honestly, man, there will be a, a Ryan Righteous performance this year. There, there will be. I haven't decided whether or not it's going to be on a single, whether it's going to be in a cipher, uh, or whether it's going to be, um, you know, a, a feature. But you will get a Ryan Righteous verse sometime this year. A performance of some sort will come out. And it's just going to be the one thing that I cross off my bucket list. Um and, and, and you know how this all started? It's really funny how this all started. I got to go ahead and put this clear the air. If you go to Google and you Google Ryan Righteous, they mixed up my profile with the Ryan Righteous who produced sidelines for the craze. Right? And so it says on my profile that I'm a Dove nominated, Grammy nominated um, uh, uh, music producer. And it sucks that that's such a great accomplishment that I have not accomplished. So one day I was kind of sitting around and I was saying, you know what? Maybe I need to go out there and try my hand at all the things that people think I can do, right? People think I can rap because I'm a part of Track Stars, right? Because Sean Tana, uh, um, DJ Jeremiah, Rick Sincere, they all have independent albums outside of being a member of FMG, Freedom Music Group. And everybody's like, oh, well, Ryan's lumped in there somewhere, so he must rap too. No, I don't rap, but I will I will play around with it and maybe try to see if I can do it. And so we started that series last year called Make Me a Rapper. And, um, you know, D1 came in the building and he gave me some advice. And then he was like, now let me hear you spit a few bars. And as soon as I spit my bars, he was like, yeah, man. He was like, um, I'll sign you. I'll sign you to Mission Vision Entertainment if you get these bars right. It was fun and it was, you know, a laughable moment. But what if he was actually serious? Or what if I took it serious? You know, what would that do? But honestly, man, my focus is helping those that are coming behind us. I want to one day be able to pass the torch on. I want to be able to turn track stars over to the next young group of guys that want to run radio, television, and film. I want to be a behind-the-scenes guy that helps to direct good content and, and movies and film. And I just want to make Jesus proud with what we put out in the marketplace. I want to make sure that his music becomes the mainstream and the alter- and the mainstream becomes the alternative. That's what my hope is. For sure, for sure. And I know that one way that you guys are doing that um, is with um, your, your newest part of the J dot family and that's render just talk to us just a minute about, about that, you know, what, what that does and how that can impact the independent artist. Oh man. Render has potential to be amazing. So render is a new streaming platform and it's spelled R E N D R and it's dot TV. So render dot TV, R E N D R dot TV. And it's a new streaming platform. Currently, right now, it's free for you to sign up, but there will be a charge going forward. You, you sign up now, you're in the grandfather clause. We're going to let it run for and cycle around for about a year. Um, but yeah, Render's brand new. And what it's doing is it's able, it's able to give our genre a boost in all areas to say, hey, let's challenge each other to make good content for radio, television, and film, right? Let's challenge each other to have it all in one place where we can partner together where it doesn't have to be a competition. So, you know, we work with uh, Ruth Long on that show on, on Render. We work with um, um, MC Nice to get content for Render. We work with Brian Lamar uh, to get content for Render. So there's a lot of people that have partnered with us to help give us content. Um, a better day, a better story with Sam Collier. So there's a lot of people that have come together to see this vision like, oh, I see this. I can see you guys putting out content out there for everyone to kind of go to, especially when streaming is so prevalent right now. And you've got platforms like BT Plus, you've got platforms like Disney Plus, platforms like Hulu and Netflix and um, all these different areas that are that are streaming. You should get in on that as well. And so we did. We wanted to get in on that. And Render has been a way for us to 
see what the marketplace needs, right? We have had overwhelming response of people going to render and checking out the site. Um, even though we're only releasing new content every Friday, um, it's something that you can kind of sit back and, and, and wait for. If you've already been on render since day one, you've probably watched all the content, right? But we're continuing to partner with great brands and bring you good content. And it just has to be a stepping stone, right? Netflix wasn't built overnight, and so we understand that too. And so we understand too that it's also going to take ad and marketing dollars to make render really pop. Because uh, the more people you have, inside, have signed up for it, the more people are going to lend their content to it. So we've got to get to a point where we push render to the masses and let this be a mainstream thing, not just a Christian hip-hop thing. Now, the way it works for artists is if you're making content and we get you on early in, if we get you on early into the game, then that content is going to live on render. And people, when this becomes a big thing, are going to see your content that you've put out on render. So not taking anything down, just putting more stuff up. Awesome, awesome. So it's not just it's not just a Netflix man. You, you, you're t- kind of tying in everything, man. It's it's uh, it's Netflix. It's BT. It's all these different entertainment, but it's all built around uh, Christian content. Yeah, we've even got a kids show on there. Uh, the Jammies with the uh... yeah, MC um, Nice. He produced a television show called The Jammies, and Jammies is the first. Um, Christian hip hop uh, animated series, and it currently on actually it was on Netflix for a while, and now it's on Amazon Prime, and it's also on Render. You know, we only have a couple of episodes that he's licensed out to us, but other than that, you know, we are at the point right now where we're just like, hey, we need to build, build, build. So let's continue to get great godly content out to the mainstream, and uh, you know, let people share in their gifts, talents, and abilities. Yeah, man. So. uh yeah, artists, you know, join Nectar, help let, let them help you get your music out there, grow that career, create those visuals, send them in to uh, render, man. There's, there's it's kind of a one stop shop for you here at the J dot slash track stars hub. Uh, Ryan, man, you know, I, I love that you were able to take time out and jump on the podcast with us. I hope that, uh, you know, we absolutely hope, hope we do this again, man, you know, cause I feel like there's a lot more we can talk about, but you know, I want to be conscious of your time and, and fit into that, uh, to those radio, uh, limitations. Right. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, man. yeah. Can I just say one last thing? Yeah, for sure. I just want to say, man, how proud I am of you and how grateful I am to you. Um, for letting us be a part of what you do as well. Um, I know you give us credit for, you know, giving you these different nuggets and different things and how to, you know, get things going in this direction. But you've done an excellent job. Your growth is uh, exponential. And God is really, he really has his hand on you and your brand. And what you guys are doing is phenomenal. I love to support it. I'm behind it 100%. One day, one day, we are going to be sitting side by side in the cubicle, figuring all this out for God. And I promise you that, you know. And you know what? I take that back. You won't have a cubicle. You'll have an office. You can just put that on me. I, I, I'll put you up in an office. But we're going to figure this out for God. We're going to continue to cross brands. People don't necessarily know how close we are, but we work with so many different brands. There are about seven different brands that have launched from track stars uh, staff members. And so not just your brand, but there's also the, uh, the brand for NASDAQ publishing. There's a brand for all the different podcasts we work with, um, MTMB sports. So there's so many different brands that have branched out of people that have worked with track stars in the past. And, um, God has got his hand on all of us. I truly believe that. I truly believe we're going to see some fruit come out of it real soon. Yeah, man, I'm excited. And, and yeah, it's, it's really is. It's all family, man. It's all family, uh, track stars family, you know? Um, so definitely grateful for everything, Ryan. And we will definitely be looking to get you back on the podcast in the future. Um, yeah, so, you know, I have some be good news for, for you when we come back. There we go. There we go. Hey, but before, before we sign it off, man, if, uh, people want to follow you and get the latest from Ryan Moore, how do they do it? Uh, man, you can follow me on Instagram at Ryan Rice's Track Stars. Uh, you can go to the website. I have a, a blog there, uh, Ryan Righteous. Um, Twitter at Ryan Righteous. Facebook at Ryan Righteous. So, yeah, um, you can find me in all those spaces. All right, guys, make sure you go out, follow, and support uh, Ryan Moore 
from track stars and once again we're going to give a shout out to the sponsors of the podcast uh, show me christ records the bookkeeper 24 7 for sponsoring the interview segment and we will see you guys again on the next pod